Hi! Are you worried about red, itchy, swollen areas in your child's body? Well, it might be hives or urticaria, which is an allergic reaction. In this video, we will talk about hives or urticaria. What are its causes? What are the signs and symptoms? How doctors diagnose and treat this condition? And more importantly, things that you should watch out for. Hi, I am Dr. Christine Kiat. I'm a board-certified pediatrician. And in my channel, I give you weekly videos for any question that you might have in order to help you raise happy and healthy kids. Yay! Hives or otherwise known as urticaria. So these are red, swollen, itchy areas that show up in the skin. It can be from an allergic reaction to food or medications. The cause may also be unknown. Well, it might show up as half an inch big to several inches big and can show up all over the body or in just some parts of the body. Now, what are the causes of hives? Most common causes include um, peanuts, eggs, and shellfish. Medications that also cause hives include penicillins, sulfas, anticonvulsants, phenobarbital, and aspirin. Most commonly in children, it can also be viral-induced, such that the rash happens when the child is sick or shortly after an illness. And if it is caused by a virus, it is not due to allergies. Now, who is at risk? Well, anyone is at risk, but the risk is greater for children with allergies. How about the signs and symptoms? It shows up as an itchy, red or pink swollen area in the skin. It can occur alone, in a group, or all over the body. It can show up in one spot and then go away after 24 hours and then come back in another spot. How is urticaria diagnosed and treated? Well, it is diagnosed by a doctor by obtaining a full history. The doctor will ask about your child's intake of food and intake of medications. The doctor will also then do a full physical examination. With regards to treatment, well, it will depend on how old your child is, your child's overall health, how sick your child is, and how well your child will be able to handle um, medications and procedures. But the best form of treatment is to avoid triggers. So get to know what food or medications trigger your child's allergies and avoid them. Uh, the doctor would also prescribe uh, sedating antihistamines such as diphenhydramine or hydroxyzine, and another option would be the non-drowsing antihistamines such as cetirizine or um, loratadine. Now, what should you watch out for? For a child with hives, we need to watch out if your child has any trouble breathing. Because in this case, your child may need a shot of epinephrine in order to decrease the swelling and itchiness. The doctor will show you how to use an emergency kit containing epinephrine and to keep it with your child all the time in case of future episodes. So, for a child with hives, call your doctor if it is a new symptom, if it is getting worse, or if your child has trouble breathing. Alright, that's the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed watching and you have learned a lot. I'll see you on the next video. Hi! I hope you enjoyed the video. I am here to provide support and help you raise happy and healthy kids. If you have any questions or if you want to suggest a topic, just type in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the bell button to keep posted. Alright?